Suppose you have the points A here and B, whose coordinates are given with A coordinates 2, 3, and B, 7, 9. And we are asked to find the vector between the two points. There are two answers. One is uh, the vector AB and the other one is the vector BA. Let's start with finding vector AB. The vector AB is the vector from A to B. So A is the tail, B is the head. And finding the vector AB here really means finding its components. And so we will get the horizontal component and the vertical component. The horizontal component here could really be considered as sort of the x component because we could find it using the x coordinates of the point. Because if you look at this, the horizontal component is this. And actually, the length of that segment is really just the difference between the x-coordinates. See, the length is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, which is really just 7 minus 2. So the horizontal component, or the x-component, will be 7 minus 2. And we, it is 7 minus 2, and not 2 minus 7, is because we start from A to B. So we, when we get the difference, we get the difference of the... Um, the coordinates from the tail to, from the head, so the head to the tail, so that's why it's 7 minus 2. It's going to be similar for the, for the, for the y component, uh, the y component will be this, and the length of that segment is really the difference of the coordinates. See, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, which is 9 minus 3. And it's again, it's 9 minus 3 because we start from the tail, from the head, sorry, we start from the head to the tail. So it's 9 minus 3. So AB is really 5, 6. Finding BA is similar. Sorry, uh, BA. So finding BA will be similar, only that BA is the vector connecting B to A, or f connecting A from B. So it's this vector. That is BA. So same thing, to get the, the X component, we get the difference in the x-coordinates, but we just start from the tail to the head. So it's going to be 2 minus 7. Sorry, from the head to the tail. So 2 minus 7. For the y component, it's going to be 3 minus 9. So BA is negative 5, negative 6. So again, here we stress the uh, the the importance. We stress that order is important in this case. So we have a special we have a special terminology for this. Uh, AB here we call AB as the position vector of B from A, or the position vector of B relative to A. Similarly, the vector BA is the position vector of A from B, or the position vector of A relative to B. Let's try this situation. Suppose O, A, B, and C are points in the coordinate plane, where O is the origin, uh, so it means that this means that the, the coordinates of O are 0, 0. And the coordinates are of A, B, and C are given. A has negative 1, 2. B has 3, 4. C has 4, negative 5. Find the position vector of... The first one is A from O. So we start from O. Its coordinates are 0, 0. 
to a whose coordinates are negative 1, 2. And the vector we are looking for, vector a from o is o a, o to a. And just need to get the x component, the, the components. So the x component will be the difference of the x coordinates from the tail from the head to the tail. So it's gonna be one negative one minus zero in this case, and the y component will be two minus zero. So that will be negative one, two. The second one is b from a. So from a whose coordinates are negative 1, 2, to b, whose coordinates are 3, 4, the vector we are looking for is a, b. So the x component will be 3 minus negative 1. The y component will be 4 minus 2. That is 4, 2. Last one is a from c, so c has 4, negative 5 to a with negative 1, 2. The vector we are looking for is c a. And the x component would be negative 1 minus 4. The y would be 2 minus negative 5, which is negative 5, positive 6. Or that's actually negative 5, positive 7. So this is positive 7.